Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about what is needed to charge your car. This is a Tesla wall connector. It goes on the wall in a location near where you park your car. It is waterproof. It can be put outside. It can be in the driving rain and it's okay. The wall connector is supplied by Tesla. You purchase it online. It gets shipped to you. You get your favorite electrician to install it. You use it very much like you use your cell phone charger. At night, when you go to bed, you plug your cell phone in and the cell phone charges overnight. When you wake up in the morning, the phone is charged. Your electric car is very much the same. When you get home at night, you plug it in. In the morning, when you're ready to go, you unplug it and your car is charged and ready for the day. In today's video, we're going to talk about how that's charged and what in the heck you charge it with. Misnomer is, you charge it with a wall charger. Nope, that's not correct. The wall connector is exactly what it sounds like. Everybody has a wall connector. Some folks call it a charger. It is not a charger, and let me explain why. The wall connector communicates with the car. Once the connection is properly inserted, the car indicates to the wall connector that the circuit is connected. The wall connector electronic circuit then activates the relay or contactor in the wall connector applying 120 or 240 volts AC to the connection to the car. Most EVs have the charging circuit built directly into the battery pack. This saves cost and allows the charging circuit to better monitor the batteries and make sure that they're properly charged. So when you hear somebody say, there's a EV charger over there. Nope, it's a wall connector. Whether it be inside or outside on a pedestal, it's still a wall connector. The charger is located inside of the EV battery on most EVs. The charger circuit takes the alternating current and upscales it to whatever voltage the battery is. Most batteries run about 400 volts. Some of the new batteries run at 800 or 1000 volts. In either case, the charger will upconvert the AC voltage to direct current to match whatever the voltage is inside of the EV battery. Down below, you'll see a link to the Wikipedia article explaining this circuit that allows the wall connector to properly communicate with a car. This is a relatively standard type of circuit, and that circuit is used for both AC and DC charging. So here's an example of a real charger. This is a DC fast charger. A DC fast charger provides direct current anywhere from 300 to 1000 volts DC up to 500 amps and more. These larger chargers, the DC fast chargers, and Tesla calls them superchargers, allows the charger itself to be integrated with the battery pack. Instead of the basic communications that we see on AC wall connectors, this same circuit is used to control the voltage that comes out of the DC fast charger or the supercharger. The control circuit inside of the EV battery monitors the voltage coming from the DC fast charger and through the control network tells the DC fast charger to increase or decrease the voltage coming from the charger. That voltage is directly applied to the battery stack inside of the car. This allows you to have higher power without having to have a gigantic AC to DC converter inside of the battery. This allows you to quickly charge your EV battery using a DC fast charger or a Tesla supercharger. All right, let's try something fun. I'm going to show you pictures of the different types of chargers, and we're going to see which you can identify as being a wall connector or a DC fast charger. You ready? In this first part, we're going to look for wall connectors. So let's go. Yes. Nope. Uh-uh. Yes. 
Negative. Yep. Not right. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Let's have a look at some of the DC fast chargers. Uh-uh. Yes. Negative. Yep. Not right. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. Nope. Well, how'd you do? I think you probably are able to now identify a wall connector from a DC fast charger. If you liked today's video and you learned something, go ahead and click the like. And if you would, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the upcoming videos and take care.